guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. Sherry here, how's it going? So this is going to be a Divine Feminine or Yin reading for February the 21st until March the 1st. Hope you're doing well. So I did the uh, Celtic Wing for the masculine, so I'll do the same for you. So let me pull the cards first. You can probably just fast forward through this. Actually, I have one of these up here. From the bottom of the deck. Okay, and let me get my cards a little shuffle just in case I want to pull some clarifiers. Alright, let's begin. So, with your present position, the high priest. Interesting. Um, I'm saying interesting because in the Twin Flame reading, it was there's this energy of being a spiritual leader that was very strong. It was coming through with the High Priestess as well as the message from the universe at the end of the reading. So there's this grounded um, spiritual strength that the feminine is embodying in the next week. Um, so... You know, this is sharing your knowledge, your wisdom with others, or this could mean that you are coming into contact with somebody who is a spiritual leader. Okay, so just for the heck of it, I want to pull one card here. Wow, King of Cups. So the King of Water is somebody who is very emotionally balanced. They're balanced mentally and emotionally. So they're able to express their emotions, and but they're not manipulated by them. So there is something that... Um, you know, makes you feel unconditional love and it's this spiritual quest or spiritual calling that you have. Um, so that's beautiful. You're embodying unconditional love and you're um, pursuing spiritual um, leadership roles or, you know, communities, um, reaching out with um, like-minded people, your vibe tribe. Your foundation is the sun. Wow. So the sun, most positive card in the deck. So you've had some major illuminations uh, in the past as a foundation. There's this, this fire, this um, masculine power surging within you. So you're standing on the sun as the high priest, as the king of love. This is your energy. Wow. The sun card also represents new beginnings. It's a number one. So this is a return to innocence, freedom, but it embodies every positive emotion that you can have. It has a beautiful place to be coming from, for sure. Okay, so what is in the past? Wow, destiny. Three major arcanas so far. In the Twin Flame reading, you, you had three major arcanas out of four. So, destiny represents um, the completion of cycles. Uh, I think that that energy of cycles completing was um, evident in your uh, message from the universe at the end. There's a sen sense that you're looking for patterns. You're looking for um, repetitive patterns. Um, you know, people repeating themselves, right? And being able to see things from a high perspective and not engaging in any 
retaliation. It's like you are surrendering to destiny. Um, you're allowing change to transform your life, right? So the 10 also reduces to a one. So we got two ones with the high priest at the, you know, uh, at the present moment. So change has happened. This new beginning ha is forming. And you, as a result, you, you know, you're really stepping into your own. I feel you becoming very powerful. That was also evident in the Twin Flame reading. It's like you are this grounded, conscious um, being, but you are still seeking answers, but you, you are in a very loving space as well. Very cool synchronicity, once again, that happened with the masculine reading. Wow, what do you want? You want spiritual union. Of course you do. Uh, you want to be with your twin flame soulmate, true love. You want to feel that spiritual connection with them. And in the masculine reading, he had the six of cups in this position, so the, this feeling is mutual. Why do you feel you don't have it? Wow, the High Priest again. Uh, why do you feel you don't have it? The High Priest. Hmm. I feel there's some a message trying to get out and I'm just not seeing it. So I'm going to pull... Uh, where's my teeny tiny deck? Oh, there it is. Okay, so... Just one card for a clarifier, please. Oh, okay, that one. Happy. You want to be happy. You want the masculine to maybe recognize your spiritual power. I don't know. Uh, maybe you want to both be manifesting this twin flame connection on the 3D reality because this is physical. Um, I don't know. Let's see what the rest of the reading says. Okay, so what's at your crossroads position? Third eye chakra. Interesting. Um, the high priestess, which was in your emotional position for the twin flame reading, you know, has their third eye chakra open, but right now I'm seeing crown chakra activation. So in the near future, you're going to be going within, using your intuition to guide you, looking for answers. But this is also a card of foresight, seeing how things are lining up. So you're aware of that, that repetitive pattern in the past. And you see how things are going to line up in the future. You feel enthusiastic. You feel... What I'm really sensing strongly is that you are focused on your higher calling. Right? You know that this twin flame connection is related to it, and eventually it'll, you know, it will manifest in your life if you pursue... Um, if you're helping other people it magnetizes and draws people into your life and obviously it would draw your masculine towards you. So I feel a deep sense of surrender, heart chakra wide open, desiring union, but at the same time pursuing your higher calling and answers are coming to you, right? There's a lot of awareness and illumination here. Okay, well, I'm actually going to pull one more card for this. Yes, perspective shift, seeing things differently. Um, turn the world upside down where there was sadness, loneliness, heartbreak. Now there is sunshine. And so this is kind of confirming to me that you've been through this, the storm. You are sailing on stormy seas, but you are the calm, calm within the storm. You're surrendering, letting go of control. And this is in the near future. So you're being drawn to continue to surrender, not, you know, the message from the universe in the Twin Flame reading was for you to let go of control. Can you surrender? Can you allow things to happen without any interference from you? And yes, you can. 
So allow your, you know, use your intuition to guide you. Um, but at the same time, there's something you need to see. You need to swift shift your perspective. And hopefully the rest of the cards will tell us why. Um, okay, so what are you resisting? Wow, the moon. Interesting. You got the sun and the moon. You're resisting seeing something. The moon is a veil of darkness. So you're using your intuition, tapping into the subconscious mind, activating the high priestess in order to see the reality of a situation, see through the illusions. Uh, this is also the shadow side of yourself. Um, so, you know, it's those things that are hidden about yourself facing those fears. Okay, so just one card is a clarifier. Page of Cups, the Muse. Um, the Page of Cups is wanting to start a, a new connection. And you can see that reflection up there, desiring the Two of Cups, desiring spiritual union, desiring your twin flame. And so this is sending out messages of love. So either you're resisting facing your fears and expressing your emotions um, or being a, the creative person who, you know what I mean? Like this is the muse, right? So drawing upon that inspiration from the muse in order to create a masterpiece or to express your, your emotions through art. Um, but it's in your resisting position. Okay, so what is in your internal environment is the two pentacles. So another two. So this is trying to find balance. You are the eye in the storm, right? There's that same kind of repeated message in the twin flame reading and the masculine as well. There's change that is occurring in the 3D. You may be feeling like you are being pulled in two different directions the you know there's a transformation in your physical world and it's leaving you feeling unsteady so internally you feel a little shaken right but that you feel very powerful at the same time you're drawing upon the sun's strength you're drawing upon your intuition you're letting go of control and just allowing the current to take you where it needs to you know where you need to go but at the same time you're not seeing something i don't know so let's continue. What's in your external environment is the Nine of Wands. Wow. So th I feel strongly this is the masculine because he had the Ten of Wands. He had the Burden card as the final message from the universe. He had the Ten of Swords. The, you know, and then he had the conflict and chaos. Uh, his soul is in a stormy place, but he's still the calm within the storm. He's in the eye of the, he is the eye of the storm. And you're picking up on that vibration and you can feel the waves, you know, lapping up on your shore, right? You can feel the wind from the raging storm making you feel unsteady, but you are surrendering. Very cool synchronicity. So the Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. Being through the battle, feeling like giving up, but having the strength to give it a final push. So in the in the masculine reading, he is coming to the completion of that cycle. He's putting down the burden. Whatever he's been fighting all this time, he realizes he can't fight anymore. So what will you get? This is what you're hoped for and likely to get. And this is what you will get. Nice. The Knight of Cups. Gestures of Love. You got the Page of Cups, the Knight of Cups, the Two of Cups. So you want the masculine to come to you and express his emotions. You feel that there is, you know, this veil of darkness and confusion hiding the masculine's emotions or he's not able to express himself you know that there's love between the two of you you got the king of cups in the present moment that could very well be the masculine you want to 
be in this deep loving bond with each other. You want to move forward. So you want clarity about the connection. You want communication. You are, it's in your resisting position though, this, this communication of love. And it's because there's something you're not seeing. So what you will get is the Knight of Cups. It will, there will be movement forward, gestures of love, right? This is offering your, your love, wearing your heart on your sleeve. But it, at the same time, it is a longing energy. You haven't fully received that love. Summary outcome. Wow, Ace of Swords, but it was in reverse. Um, yeah, okay, let's do that. Because the masculine got the Ace of Swords in his present position. So as a summary outcome, you feel that a decision hasn't been made. There's no clarity. You feel that there's a truth that needs to be spoken that isn't being shared. You feel that... You know, there's been an injustice. And that's where that confusion is coming from. So you want clarity. You want communication. You want a decision to be made. You, you know, this is all within your own mind. So this, this, you need to be able to change, you know, flip that perspective on your own. Um... Yeah... You have the power to cut through that confusion and darkness. You know, be the sun. Shift your perspective from the sun, or sorry, from the moon to the sun. Right? That's what this perspective shift is all about. See how you view the world. Is it a sunny, happy place, or is it a miserable, dark place? Right? So flip it. Make decisions that are best for you. This person has nothing to hide. They're naked. You know the truth already. So there's something you're not seeing. Final outcome. Wow, the King of Cups. That's incredible. So what I'm seeing here is a little bit of a pattern, right? So we got the High Priest coupled with the King of Cups. This was confirmation card. So this, what I was feeling is the masculine energy coming through. You know, you're, you are embodying unconditional love. You're trying to find that mental balance within yourself emotionally and mentally. But there's this desire to reconnect with the love of your life, the king of love. And that's being shown over here with the two of cups coupled with the high priest. There's this, it's like this desire to manifest this connection, the spiritual connection, twin flame connection. And... And that's what's happening, right? You want to be happy. You want to, you know, and the, the high priest very well could be the masculine as well. So that's what your final outcome is. This, this is what you want. This is what's coming. So let's just pull one card. Wow, high priestess. Wow. So what that's telling me is since it's shifted from the high priest to the high priestess, you are using your intuition, your power of manifestation to find answers and to manifest love, right? There's this circle, this spiral of, you know, repetitive patterns coming from the past. And it's like you're pulling this energy from source, from the void. And on some level, you know you already, I don't know, like true love, right? True love comes to you when you're ready, then true love comes. And that's what I feel is happening here. And it's like you knew all along that this person was the love of your life. That's kind of what I'm feeling. And you need to see that. And once you see that, there's this light that goes off. Um, and it could be that you are that love. Oh my God, I don't even know if I'm making any sense right now. I feel like I'm caught in that what the fuck zone. Do you know what I mean? It's like clarity, not clarity. I don't know. Okay, so what is the overall energy? Three of wands in reverse. But 
<sighs> so this is feeling enthusiastic, feel, you know, thumbs up. Here we got a thumbs down, right? Reverse. So you, you, you're excited, you're happy, but you feel like things aren't manifesting. You don't, you're not embracing your power. I don't know. And, and that's, I guess, you know, being a feminine, I need, there's something I need to see. There's something that's standing in the way of clarity. I'm not seeing something. So that's, I guess, what I'm, what I need to find out. What is it that's making me feel that I'm, I'm obviously, I feel like I've already accomplished so much in my life, um, but there's that haziness, there's that confusion there. So, a little introspection for me. Um, all right, so let's see here. Let's pull one final card for a message from the universe. Wow, a certain slant of light. That's crazy. I felt it strongly with the sun card, but this was the message from the universe for the masculine. for the twin flame reading and I've done the masculine reading previous to this so you know these cards were shuffled so you guys are mirroring each other what I feel right and again answers will come there's some something that your uh, answer that you're looking for and that clarity will come From the darkness there emerges illumination deemed divine, fretless searching terminated by insight so not uh, most sublime. From despair and confusion erupts another form of sight, lucidity, all resulting from a certain slant of light. A pensive mermaid lies in the grassy pond, waiting for an answer to come to her. A grand light shines from above, illuminating her and her surroundings in a moment of divine clarity, insight and understanding. Um, so the meaning is illumination is coming, darkness and confusion are commonplace in this world but do not worry illumination is coming in the form of a new way of viewing your environment or situation new way perspective shift some call it divine insight and others enlightenment either way be prepared for a new perspective a sudden shift in thinking will arise from the uncovering unknown facts opinions and desires or desires these new points will help you understand where you are now and help you to answer some of the questions that have been gnawing at you for some time. Be prepared, though. The illumination may be subtle and easy to miss. Keep your eyes open and spirit, and your spirit curious so that you don't miss out on the illumination you have been so long waiting for. So what I was getting from that is that sword coming down, that illumination decision made. And then I remembered that the masculine showed up twice as the king of swords with that, you know, the ace of swords making that decision. So clarity will come from the masculine and it will, you know, there's insights that you're realizing and it's like a confirmation of those insights you've known it all along or something, I don't know. But you both arrive at this major enlightenment point in the next week. You both realize something. You both got this card, right? So there's a, a perspective shift happening for the both of you. All right, so please like, comment, share, subscribe. All right, peace.